This interview is part of the History Heard project. The content of this interview may be used for historical research. However, no part of the video itself may be reproduced without the express written permission of an authorized History Heard representative. Today is July 19, 2012 at 3 p.m. This is an interview with Dr. Richard Gaddy in Los Angeles, California. He was born on January 12, 1937 in Hoboken, New Jersey. What was the, the d disease that you were? The disease was called severe combined immunodeficiency. Mm -hmm. Severe meant you die from it. Combined meant both the T and the B were missing. Wow. Now that immediately told us, and Dr. Good was one of the world experts, probably the most knowledgeable and comprehensive, he was a brilliant man, one of the most comprehensively um, self-educated, there was no one to learn this from, he had figured out not only that if the mice were inheriting only one locus, we should be able to find a donor among the siblings of people as well, mm -hmm. right? But um, he also, um, the fact that you had both the T and the B cell missing mm -hmm. tells you that two universities are not working. Therefore, it's not the universities that are the problem, it's the students. There's something wrong with the student supply. Mm -hmm. Make sense? It does. So we figured there must be a stem cell common to both. Mm -hmm. And since these are both blood cells, they're called hematopoietic. That would be a hematopoietic stem cell. It meant, probably, good guess, because even then it was known that all blood comes from the bone marrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe with some mixture of spleen, but why complicated? That was a model that has withheld, you know, it's, it's withstood the test of time. We figured that the stem cell must be in the bone marrow. We knew this for mice. That was not an assumption, that was a, that was a fact. You could take bone marrow from mice of one strain and rescue them uh, within the histocompatibility locus matching. Mm -hmm. And you could rescue them from any blood disorder that the other one had. If you could get rid of that, you could put the new bone marrow in, it would replace them. So this could be done in mice. So what we wanted was her bone marrow. Once we had established who of the four sisters was the best match, and she wasn't a perfect match, but we were dealing with a fatal disease and all the males in his family for the generations before had died before one year of age. Wow. There were no males in that pedigree because the males were getting the disease. Okay. The females carry it, typical X-linked disease like you learn in school mm -hmm. for hemophilia. The females carry it on their X chromosome, but they have two. One is normal, one is not, right? right? But when they have a boy, the father gives the Y, mm -hmm. the mother gives the X. So if she gives the non-functional one, they develop hemophilia. Well, they also develop this disease of severe combined immunodeficiency. And we were right. When we put his bone marrow, well, her bone marrow, back into him, all the problems went away except one. There's a part of the hematopoietic system that is not immunologic, from like platelets and red cells, and they were working fine before the transplant. We destroyed them by accident. By accident meaning we had, this. Is, there were no books to read, this was the first transplant, right? right. Um, it just was something that we didn't expect. Mm -hmm. um, and so we ended up with a little boy that now had his immune system back, T cells and B cells. By the way, T cells and B cells were only suspected at the time from chickens and from mice. We didn't know. Today, that's a very specific definition of what a B cell is and a T cell, but this is back before all of that. Um, so when we went back and, and, and reasoned all of this, we realized that we needed stem cells. Mm -hmm. We needed at least bone marrow, and that should have stem cells. 
And we did that, but they killed the platelets and the red cells. Mm -hmm. And all we could think of in our naivety and simplicity, which is really simple at the time, was what if we were to give more from her, give another, uh, give another uh, bone marrow transplant? Mm -hmm. We were afraid that that might give a reaction that could be quite severe, you know, like a bee sting the second time it'll be even worse. Right called an anamnestic reaction. Well, what choice did we have? We knew he was going to die. That was a given. Right. So we decided with all the proper monitoring and precautions, we would give another one. And we did that, and that's the last therapy he's ever had. And he was eight months old at that time. Wow. He is today 44 years old. Incredible. Yeah. And I get a, you know, a holiday card for him every year. He now has four kids. And, you know, two of them are twins. Uh, and they're all normal because uh, they're all, uh, let's see, how does it work out? Well, he, um, because remember his gonadal tissue, right, mm -hmm. would still have the uh, X chromosome that's affected. And, um, but he, when he had boys, of course, he's giving his Y. And when he has girls, they'll be carriers, mm -hmm. almost by definition, because that X has to be the one that carries the gene. Right. And the transplant doesn't change your gonadal tissue. Mm -hmm. right? uh, his mother asked me that the day we did the transplant. And I said, we don't think it'll make a difference. Right. We didn't know. But today I can say it's made no difference. He's a normal, healthy, functioning male and a father, and and uh, he doesn't have any problems. So and cool. Yeah, it's a good story. It's wonderful uh, satisfaction to to enter medicine. And you know, I was very young. I was only like uh, four years out of well, six years out of medical school. Mm -hmm. I was only a few years finished. I'm, I was still in training, actually. At right. that time, that's what I was doing in Minnesota, and to have this happen, it's such an upper, it's such a thrill, you know, there's so much self-fulfillment in just knowing that, well, you might not do anything else, but you've done something good. Absolutely.